Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you all had yourselves a wonderful weekend. Hey Hamish. <clears throat> over, over the weekend I fixed the, uh, the frame rate problems with this game, so it should be running a lot smoother now. You can even tell just the mouse movement's better. Load times in this game are surprisingly long, given to the age. <clears throat> hey, Cell. Look how much smoother the scrolling is now. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so much better. Look how smooth this guy, like, moves now. Uh, Alright. So when we left off last time, uh, we we touched some kind of dwarven. I don't know what it was. There's like a dwarven ghost procession, and then when we touched this thing in the middle of the room, it teleported us down to the second floor. Uh, so we need to find some stairs, which are just above us there. Holy crap! The zoom in is so fast now. God, whoa. But we need to get back up to the first floor so we can finish finish exploring the first floor, which we're almost done after 11 fucking hours. Wraith, you. Dun dun. Dun dun. I'm out of spells? Well, that's not good. Whoops. I just skipped it. Oh, I'm doing real good here. Uh, stagger. Stab. Hey, machine hugs. Uh, it's it's okay. It's it's a little tedious, just for how fucking long the the floors are. Three rings of elves, too. This is one beefy ass fucking wraith. There's just a 50% chance to miss or to, to, to do no damage whenever you attack an incorporeal enemy, even with magic weapons. Your weapon fails to damage the incorporeal opponent, even though it's a plus four club. Your weapon fails to damage. Alright, I am completely out of spells with that guy. Well, that was a good hit. Fucking hit.
Oh my god, dude. Fuck this wraith! You need to equip a melee weapon. Hey, fishy ash. Dude, come on, just fucking hit it. Thank you. God, get fucked. You back off. Your spiritual weapon seems to last for one turn. Spiritual weapon. Well, we just learned how useless that is. Chill touch. Okay. okay, this is a safe room. Let's rest. Hey, next. How you doing, man? Question is, how much constitution did uh, Thief lose? It's 11 right now. Very far from Firewall. Since so sorcerers get out their spells like a level offset from, from wizards. Normally a wizard would get Fireball level 5. I don't think we're going to get it to like level 7 or something. 6 or 7. encumbered. How much these fucking... Wow. <laughs> Seriously, these arrows? Dude. get upstairs.
There's a lot of container bashing. Although I think this game actually came out before Neverwinter Nights. I was going to say Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance is the king of container bashing, but that also came out later. Default speed is insanely slow. The, the whole game is insanely slow, dude. Even sped up, it took us 11 hours to get off the first floor, and there's still more to do on the first floor. We got we got teleported down to the second floor, but 11 hours at double speed to clear one floor of the dungeon. Well, here's some stairs going up. There we go. They're, they're not. I looked at this, the strategy guide. There's at least eight floors that are of similar size to the, uh, the first one. Where are we? I yeah, can't look at the map in combat. Okay. The, the game takes place in Mithdrenor, which is like a big city, so there's like underground tombs and castles and things around Mithdrenor. Oh, that's far leveled up. Nice. Strength. Only Athavar leveled up, apparently. Okay, so where are we? Okay, this is where we got teleported. Let no one harm the dead. Highly polished ebony rod, dwarven ceremonial staff. Plus one to hit and damage versus orogs, plus two protect. Okay. Yeah, take that rock. Uh, uh. Some kind of like. Follow. You find a handful of common gems worth 400 gold pieces in all. Handful of polished gems. It's like an axe sitting in the middle of the floor there. Keys open this. Again, you hear a grumble of dwarves and a clunk of rusty armor. A lock thud shut, then nothing. The air is dead still as if no living thing has passed this way for centuries. Master Shadow. Oh, that's that's not good. Just walks right by me.
I have a second attack with the fighter. That wasn't so bad. Get our strength back here. Do, 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 do. There's nothing inside. You sense a watchful presence in this room. For good or ill, you cannot tell. Okay, so now we're back out here. Okay. I should just use my restoration potions. We have so many of them. Only to free up the weight. Oh, I got two attacks there. Maybe maybe it's a three and two. Or two and one. So he gets two attacks one round, one attack the next round. It's probably that. What the hell do I need the money for? <laughs> We have 47,000 gold, 48,000 gold. Nothing to spend it on. Rimmed hardened st steel plate, ancient dwarven shield of protection plus one. Yeah, we haven't bought a single thing from the shop. <laughs> Everything we found, we, uh, we found on the ground. Proper treasures. I'm assuming there'll be different, either different shops or, uh, the shopkeeper will update his inventory at certain points in the game, but at the current moment, money has absolutely no value. Yes, everybody's got the, the fancy red boots. I'm an iron poleaxe. I'm not even picking that up. is too dumb to smash tables. They put all these tables in the game, but they, the AI is too dumb to actually do anything about it. So I can just sit here and fucking wing rocks at them.
Oh, stinking cloud. Wish I could scribe these. Web. Non magical swords. Not gonna bother. What the? The well has gone dry and you can easily spot the old weapons and armor thrown into it over the years. Only a few have any value. Ring of Intelligence. Plus one spear. Ring mail plus two. Oh, I wish there was like a sort inventory button. I get rid of all these notes. These notes actually weigh one pound each. Class 23, arm class 21. Which means it's not going to be better for the dwarf either. We didn't even bother checking. Finally almost done. First floor. Good god. Since that powerful creature recently held court here. Maybe an Alhoon? How do we tell that? But is now gone and the lair plundered. <laughs> How do we even possibly know that an Alhoon was sleeping here? A minus two dagger with plus five armor class on it. Interesting. I could see situations where we want the wizard to wear that. The sorcerer to wear that. Just for the armor class if something gets in his face. No, this is this is the same music. <laughs> I wish it were different. Ah. Yeah. 
one attack per turn, two turns in a row. So now I have no idea why I got two attacks that one turn. Attacks that turn. Yeah, I tried. Somebody on my YouTube channel said you can use healing to bring people up who, who get taken out, but maybe you have to do it while you're still in combat. Is it Cleave? Does, did he get Cleave? Is his new? I didn't check his feats. Oh yeah, yeah, you got clean. Okay. <clears throat> gotcha. Their blood seals. I will freeze it. One gold piece. Wow. She's eating this trap. Ow. Actually, that did nothing to him at all. Okay. Plus three wisdom boots. Whoa. Okay. Back here, critical wound scrolls. What boots are you wearing? Plus one gone, plus two armor class boots. There you go. Have some wisdom. You are wearing dexterity boots. Where's my boots? You have... Yes, the anti-reptile boots, right? There you go. Potion restoration. Uh, 
like I can't move. Fuck. The fuck? Dude. He's like clipped into this barrel or something. Awesome. <clears throat> Well of restoration. Is that a good thing? Range on enemies from being able to hit you is a little out of control here. Choose one second level spell. Hmm. Mel for web. This Mel. One great axe. How about no thanks? Okay, we have finally fucking explored, I think, the entirety of the first floor. <laughs> Only took like 12 hours. No big deal. Fuckers. Okay, uh, uh, need to get up there. There's also stairs going up. There's a floor above us and a floor below us we could go to. <clears throat> I don't know which one we're supposed to do, but we'll we'll start with this. So we scroll around, we can see some of the staircases we found. But not all of them. Hmm.
wonder if this is like a little self-contained area that you can only reach via the uh, little teleporter that we took. Because it looks like it's all closed off here. I don't think we can actually go anywhere. Go find a different, different staircase. Yeah, yeah, this is all self-contained little thing. Okay, uh, what's this one? Down, okay. Oh, this is the one that's got the stairs up and down. Let's exit to the surface. All right, well, let's... I think to get here, we have to, like, go, like, all the fucking way, like, around. Is there any other stairs down? Yeah, that's the ore mirror. There's that. Okay. Yeah, I hate the way this, this floor is laid out. Like, what should be, like, a nice, easy trip, there's, like, walls and, like, barricades everywhere that keep you from getting, getting where you want to go. Fixing the frame rate has made this the zoom in on the, the map like out of control fast now. Uh it's pretty complicated. Only flans. Uh, you have to use the the Windows application compatibility toolkit and set a bunch of custom custom compatibility rules within Windows. And then on top of that, you need DQ Voodoo 2. It's it's a pain in the ass. And definitely not worth it to play this fucking game. <laughs> Go play uh, Temple of Elemental Evil or Knights of the Chalice instead. Which both are like better versions of what this game is doing. Yeah, it would... Like, the, the way to do it, if you want to, like, push players to go a certain route, is you use locked doors and keys. But then once they hit the key and they can open the door, then they have a nice shortcut back. But these developers apparently didn't get that memo. They're just like, no, you just gotta fucking circumvent the entire goddamn dungeon to get anywhere. I wish this was like the Infinity Engine where you could give move orders on the map directly. I didn't mark this. Where does this go down? Although I imagine this game's pathfinding probably wouldn't be able to handle that. Sold off. I don't know. Okay, so this brings us all the way down here. Okay. Good enough. Whoa, zoom. Coca-Cola ads, yes. Far off, you hear keys jingling. Okay. Looks like this prison guard starved to death at his post.
We're moving too far from your party leader. <laughs> so much about this game is just infuriating. Why? Why do you have to be like within five feet of the party leader? What possible reason? You, you want to go scouting with your rogue? Yeah, too fucking bad. Minus one to hit, plus three to damage. Only rogues can use. Okay. Ornate Thieves Guild Sword. Blade of Larceny. Plus two to hit, plus two damage, plus two dexterity. Only rogues can use. Nice. Although he does have the plus three dagger, which is probably better for him. Since I don't think the dexterity in this actually works, because he's getting dexterity for something else here. <clears throat> I can't believe he's at heavy encumbrance. He's carrying fucking nothing. <laughs> Stupid arrows. Here, take that. Hey, yeah, Storm Daddy. Okay. <laughs> hey, thank you for the five months. Mm -hmm. Whoop. Whoop, indeed. It's not the deep caverns from underground. Well, I'm glad I can help you, Stum Daddy. Ooh, we gotta, we gotta update the <laughs> delete your hard drive counter by one. Dark Live got level drained. He doesn't have his second level spells and he can only shoot one missile. It's fucking level draining Spectre. Asshole. Just kill it, for fuck's sakes. 
The specter's destroyed, his prized keyring becomes corporeal again and falls to the ground. But the keys have all been worn smooth by centuries of mindless locking and unlocking of doors. You throw the useless thing away. Tight-fitting leather gloves. Diamonds, dutiful gloves. Reflex saving throw, plus four. Cast haste at level ten. Interesting. Okay. It's, it's five charges of haste. It's not permanent haste. If it was permanent haste, that would be the greatest gloves of all time. Yeah, I never finished this game back in the day. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and do it now, though. Assuming you guys want me to keep going with this. a patch to fix the installation issue like I think like less than a week after the game came out. And then patch the game three more times after that. Temple of Elemental Eve is just a better game. Yeah. There's also Knights of the Chalice, which is also similar. And is a much better game. Yeah, if, if you back Knights of the Chalice 2 on Kickstarter, then you have access to it already, but the, the, f the final version should be releasing sometime soon. <laughs> what do I think about the gameplay? It's So this game, this game was in development for quite a while as a second edition D&D game. Uh, but then 3rd edition D&D came out while they were working on it, and it was mandated by, I don't know if it was the publisher or Wizards of the Coast, but somebody forced them uh, to switch to 3rd edition rules, but they didn't give them any more development time. So they still had to release the game on the same the same deadline, but they had to rework the entire rule set. So the 3rd the edition D&D rules in this game are only like partially implemented. Um, so it's, it's like a weird pseudo 3rd edition D&D game. So this staircase is another... I guess we know why there's like 7 million stairs down. Uh, it looks like each staircase down leads to its own like, self-enclosed area. This chalice is really, really good. It came out in 2009. It was an indie game made by one dude. But it uses uh, 3.5 OGL rules. And it's like implemented like pretty much perfectly. Really good. Yeah, you don't get to pick your feats. Your feats are chosen for you based on your class. Same with your skills, you don't even get to distribute skill points. It's It's pretty ghetto. Also, Lost Old Elf, this, this is the first floor of the dungeon. Look at the size of this thing. It took us basically 12 hours. 12 hours with a speed mod doubling the speed, the game's speed. 12 hours to fully explore the first floor of the dungeon. It's... It's fucking ridiculous, man. We're gonna be playing this game for the rest of my life. This is gonna end up being the longest game of all time. And that was 12 hours of forward progress. It was not like we were stuck wandering in circles or or it like stuck on a puzzle or nothing like that. It was all like forward forward progress. 12 hours. It's nuts. 
Alright, so I guess we need to go over here. Ugh. So, I have the official strategy guide, and there's four... The dungeon run right now has four floors. And then after that, there's like an outdoor area and a town and stuff. And then after that is another dungeon of four floors. And then, like, the final... Like a castle or something, and then the, the final area. So there's like eight eight floors of like the, like this one, and then some other some other areas on top of it. So if it's like ten to twelve hours per floor, it's it's gonna be like an eighty ninety hour game. It's yeah. Okay. As you approach, many legged th small things scurry back into the barrel. That's that doesn't sound good. Wait, is this room entirely self-enclosed? It's a staircase to a single room. Wow. Wow. Blood Moon Key, okay. Permanently Frosted Short Sword, the Winter Blade, 1 die 6 plus 2, with plus 2 armor class as well, and casts Cone of Cold at level 10. Interesting. The, the annoying thing is some of the breakable objects are lootable, and the, uh, the icon for breaking and looting is exactly the same. So you gotta break everything to make sure it's not actually treasure. Nothing we've broken has had treasure, but like sometimes when you click on a bed, instead of breaking it, they search under the bed and you find like an item. So you gotta break every single thing just to be sure, because there's no way to differentiate a breakable item from a lootable item. <sighs> Which staircase was that? Was that the top or the bottom one? Yes, you can break doors. But the, if, if it's locked, there'll be a smash option. Oh, fucking ghosts and shit. Five level two spells. I just learned my first level two spell and I already have five casts. That's nuts. <laughs> what? I have no line of sight. How did I hit him with the first missile then? What? <laughs> what the fuck, Gabe? God damn it. Shit is so jank. magic missile into the darkness and it blinded him so he couldn't see the second cast I cast magic missile at the darkness this private crypt bears the sorcerer's symbol of the blood moon I guess the key we just got is gonna open this
button and key. Used to open the door. I don't like the look of this room. <laughs> Blood Red Scarab, Clusar's Bloodstone Amulet. Cast Vampiric Touch at level 10. Plus two strength, plus one armor class, plus one initiative, plus five spell resistance, minus two constitution, plus one reflex saving throw, plus one will saving throw. Why'd well, I have to have the minus two constitution? I was looking pretty hot. Hmm. Might still give it to this guy. He needs the strength because he can't fucking carry anything. Why can't... Oh, I have to... Uh... There's an inscription on the tomb. To Aesder, brother and planeswalker, at rest but not forgotten, Clusar. So it looks like this this was self-contained area as well, so we're gonna have to find another staircase down. Alright, let's look here. Is this the entrance, right? Yeah. We can get rid of the snow. Stairs up there. That's outside. Yeah, this is th with the stairs going up and down. And a locked door we can't get through. Okay, so we're gonna have to go all the way up and then all the way across over to here. Because this dungeon is laid out by a fucking crack addict. The, the, the charisma bonuses are definitely in there, which is why, why I have five level two spells. <clears throat> yeah, apparently this thing is used to fast travel in inside this dungeon. We'll, we'll find one of these on the other floors. Just checking the strategy guide to see if I missed anything with it or not. But we didn't. Why are these floors so big? They don't need to be this big. You could have split this floor into like four chunks and you would have had like floors that were still kind of big.
Oh wait, no, that's the exit outside. The uh, stairs are... Okay, we opened the pale blue door already. Shit, where's the... Fuck. Can I even get down there? Did I just go, like, way the wrong way? No, of course there's a goddamn barrier in the fucking... Oh. Oh, game. Game. So how would I get over that? Go through here. And I think that'll work. Okay, so this brings us just north of where the dwarven thing teleports to. Okay. Thanks for walking right by my people. Acts of opportunity. Where art thou? Zombies. Oh, yeah. so we got a cleave attack. Still going through brown halls fighting zombies. <laughs> much, much the same as it was before. We're on, we're on the second floor though. The second floor looks the exact same as first floor. The pool is radiant. The halls aren't. for this. 
this. This cliff seems to have something to do with water. Six. My. At least two times, yeah. dead. Holy shit. Critical hit one shots the rogue. Wow. Try using the healing on him here. Come on. Stabilized. Okay, cool. Trilogy's coming to the Switch. Yay.
Well, they're, they're great games. I just... They're, they're also like seven years old. <laughs> if you haven't played them by now and you had interest in them, then I don't know what you're doing. Wow. 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 That was quite the trap. You find a disconnect to snap trigger. Yay. Hey, Doomsday. How you doing, man? The flame in the furnace gleams a little brighter in anticipation. Okay, it's a safe room. Rest. Yeah, I'm doing alright. You may attempt to give or use an item. Place a vile iron bound tome. Nothing you have will work, you need to find the right item. <coughs> okay. Yeah, we, we're just getting going on the second floor. <clears throat> we've, what we've learned is that all those stairs to the second floor that we found uh, all lead to little self-contained areas. But we, it looks like we found a staircase that actually leads to like the bulk of the floor now. Alright, Kibitz. Thanks for coming by, man. Have a good night. Catch you later. Okay, you wanna get unstuck there? Thank you. like the worst hit point rolls of all time. I almost feel bad for him. Couple days, Hamish. People have been going uh, crazy with it.
Leave attack. Six armor class. Hard to hit. <clears throat> hey Jonas, I didn't say hi. I don't. God damn it. Hit him! This guy, the stuck guy, is. Oh, he's in here. He's up there. Okay. Well, again, all throughout development of this game in the marketing, all these, like, breakable objects were supposed to be interactive in combat, but, uh, they had to cut it. The objects are still there. An orc healer. Stop trying to cast whole person on me, you shitheads.
Hop in. You can only target one person with whole person in this game, though. It's not correct. Ow. Okay. I wish the levels weren't so big. There's there's a kernel of a good game in here somewhere, but uh, it's buried under a lot of like half-finished, janky-ass nonsense. Sneak attack. person wore off. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Kill this motherfucker. Kill him. Now he has 28 armor class. Fantastic. Yeah, 
That's right, Melf can miss. What about that? Heal minus two, yeah. That's not happening. Fucking all that time, and we have to redo the fight now. Huh? Fuck. Oh good, he got his fucking whole person. That's... that's fantastic. Fuck! <clears throat> Ass fucking orog. Okay, that went better. 
When in doubt. Doom, 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 doom. It's it's all right. It's very very janky, kind of a mess, but it's all right. Taskmaster. Healer. 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 Or a clerics? And whatever the fuck this guy is. That's... That's bad. And there's old person. Apparently the Taskmaster is a wizard. Four clerics and a wizard. That's... Takes. Saving throws, you cheaters. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is infuriating. Why 
on down. The rogue, we just have to accept that the rogue is going to be paralyzed this entire fight. Just accept it. Of sight. Actually got an attack of opportunity. That's the first time I have taken an attack of opportunity in this entire game. I was beginning to suspect that only the computer got to do it. ran away. You coward. What an annoying fight, though. Four clerics and a wizard. I guess the sorcerer, because there are no wizards in this game. Hold person, 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 hold person. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, I can't even get in here. I was like, what happens? line of sight. Cool, like you cast spells at me over this wall, but I can't do the same. Wonderful.
yeah. Cleave, baby, cleave. And he's paralyzed. Slip soot coated key. Okay. Potion of critical healing. Get our rests in since we're using like way more spells now. The air is heavy with the smell of cooked meat. like every old person saving throw. It's kind of ridiculous. Far away from your previous target. I just know there was like a, a rule like that for magic missile.
have to have so many fucking clerics, Jesus Christ. Apparently lizard people are really, really religious. You fuck. Here, there has to be, I guess. How else would they be turning me? Everybody move within melee range of the fighter so you can't cast any more spells. I approve of your strategy. Keep it up. is great. <clears throat> staff of Breachwood Luther's Protector. Plus three monk staff. Minus one to hit, plus three to will saving throws. Yay. Is this an exit somewhere? You enter a narrow chamber out of which climbs a ladder cut into the stone. You descend carefully as the rungs are worn from repeated use in years past. Is this shortcut outside? It is. Cool. Okay. That's helpful. Uh, let's go sell some stuff. <clears throat> A 
so the, the stuff you sell him disappears from his inventory after you like leave. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. I have no idea if there's ever going to be a monk companion. <laughs> I'm like, do I keep these? Dwarven ceremonial staff. Kind of sounds important, but I don't know. Casually have 59,000 gold, no big deal. Let's get rid of some of these scrolls. At least remove paralysis scrolls are actually kind of handy, given what we're facing. Okay, all these scrolls are actually, like, good insurrection wands and everything. I'm never going to need a scroll of web or chill touch. Or... This person... There's no monk NPC? Alright. I will sell those gloves. Sixty-three thousand gold. Is that all? <laughs> hey, Michael. Thing. How you doing, man? Lizardfolk camp in the deep holes. All right. Shortcut to surface. offline oh god yeah that would be that would be a nightmare well welcome back to the uh, the digital world <laughs> It is a D&D game. This is, this is a reboot of the classic Gold Box games. Specifically, a sequel to Pool of Radiance. Oh, hello. like a hospital or something? This guy's like healing these dudes. Oh, 
Which I should try to put them to sleep. I bet you the injured ones go nap. Nappy nap. <laughs> Savage. For whatever reason, the best weapons I've found so far are clubs. This guy's got a plus three club that does double damage to everything. And this guy's got a plus four club. Did you guys come from? We were just in this room. I guess this is like a random spawn. It must be. Lizard folk scavenger. Wizard. Priests. Wizard. So many freaking priests. This game doesn't have any kind of, like, weapon proficiencies, so you can just use whatever weapons you find. doesn't seem to be. You don't get to choose any of your feats, you don't get to choose any of your skills. It's all pre-selected for you. Which is kind of annoying. He tried to run away and died. Okay. Works for me.
come on, man. He's almost dead. Kill him. Oh, fuck. Thank you. Oof. See you, Under the smith's table, you find something wrapped in rags. It's still warm to the touch. That's why you have to fucking serve, smash every table. Because you never know. A plus three short sword. Blade of venom. Well, I can replace his plus three dagger. That's good. It's a decoded key. Open that door. It starts going up. Where's this going? The first floor. I do not do arms. Look out. Sent to the uppermost floor of the dungeons? Warmer here in the air is fresher. So did we go up two flights of stairs? Because the, the floor we were on was like... The first floor is like the third floor, and then the floor down is the fourth floor, and there's one going up to the second. So did we go all the way up floor to one? 
You ascend to the uppermost floor of the dungeons. It's warmer here, the air's fresher. You see halls of light written on the wall, but all the high windows were blocked up years ago. <laughs> Can't have windows, that would require new art. like another lizard in the hospital. Why are they all hurt? Smack him. Uh, uh, get fucked. Good, there's there's more. It's poison. <laughs> Chat's perch. Dude, thank you so much for the, the fresh sub. Awesome. Welcome. Thank you. I can't update the the total on the overlay because this game, this game and alt tabbing don't don't mix. So, oh, I, I am writing it down though. But thank you so much, dude. Into twist the middle. Opportunity missed, and he fucking paralyzed me. What a shithead. Face. That's good. Yes. Get absolutely fucked. for a lizard man. Which, yes, yes, that's what I want you to do. Run into his face. Do the bow point blank so that he gets an attack of opportunity on you. Good call. Another soot-coated key. Uh, it's alright. 
the, the the dungeon design in this game is terrible, but the uh, combat is kind of fun. So we'll see how it plays out. Okay, so this. So this is like, this is the fourth floor. <laughs> so we went all the way, or the first floor. So we went all the way from the fourth floor to the first floor because it's deep halls, main halls, halls of stone, and then halls of light. So that's an interesting staircase there. I don't know if we have any reason to go all the way up there yet, so we'll hold off on that. Stairs up to... Is there a story? Uh, there's there's a big evil pool called the Pool of Radiance that has undead monsters coming out of it. And it's our job to close it. Oh man, big retrograde Tom Raid. Welcome Raiders. Thank you so much, Tom. Hey everybody. Anti-Binky, Manicon, everybody else, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. How you guys doing? Give you guys a chance to sit through the Coca-Cola ads. I'm sure half of you are watching right now. Good old tight shirt, Tom. Hey, Lucidies. Hey, Red Scott. So one one cleric, one wizard, three fighters. This is this is more of a normal encounter instead of four freaking clerics. But welcome everybody to all the raiders. Hello. This is Pool of Radiance, the Ruins of Mithranor. This was a an attempt to reboot the original Gold Box game from 1988. Um, we're currently on the second floor of the dungeon, fighting lizard men. Uh, I don't have access to any spellcasters from here. Just shoot this guy, I guess. Amazon Prime ads, yes. I, I get ads for Amazon's TV shows all the time. Alright, there's a the healer. Consume more. Can we put these guys to sleep? Nope. <laughs> Damn it. Oh yeah, run over to this guy. Get in his face. I don't know. Ow. Ow. Oh, he tried to run away. Wait, what? Where the hell did these three come from? Oh man. Did like another group just like wander in? Ugh. <laughs> That's not good. Faith healer, wizard, wizard. Okay. Two clerics, two wizards just wandered into the fight. That's. That's fantastic.
trying to heal myself, all four of these guys are going to get attacks of opportunity on me. If I don't heal myself, I'm going to die. Fuck. Case in point. We're we're on the second floor now. Technically the fourth fourth floor. <laughs> the first the first floor is the third floor. It's kind of weird. There's two one floor down, two floors up. Okay, let's try that again. This time we will buff ourselves. Protection from evil. Look forward to getting group protection from evil. Save a lot of time. <clears throat> I think the combat in this is reasonably entertaining, but the the dungeon design is kind of abysmal. <laughs> so it's it's okay. And what I wouldn't give for fireball. Being tethered to your party is pretty pretty aggravating, yeah. I ran over there to heal him. Locked out there. Oops, I didn't shoot my second missile. Ow. Stop magic missile on me! Down, cleric is about to die. It's these magic missiles that are just eating me alive here. 
there any way I can trigger the, the outside part of the fight without aggroing the guys inside the room? There they are. Okay, go. We can just do one encounter at a time. This might go a little better. Oh, holy shit, what the fuck? Rig Raid? Rig Raid and a Retrograde Tom Raid, back to back? Everybody's thirsty for this Pool of Radiance action, holy cow. Look at all the dolphins, welcome everybody. Welcome. <clears throat> welcome everybody from Rig's chat, how you guys doing? For those of you aren't familiar with this game, this is Pools of Radiance from 2001. This is a reboot slash sequel. It's it's an attempt to revive the, the classic gold box games. Hey, Rig, thank you so much for the raid, man. Appreciate that. But yeah, this this was an attempt to, to revive the gold box series, and they made a, a, a sequel to Pool of Radiance. Uh, we are currently early in the dungeon. This is the, the second floor of the dungeon. It took us almost 12 hours to clear the first floor of the dungeon. The, the, the dungeon floors in this game are absolutely enormous. It's insane how big the dungeons are. <clears throat> but this is this is the, the first, as far as I know, the first video game to come out with third edition D&D rules. But they didn't have time to implement the rules properly, so half the rules are like it's messed up and weird. <laughs> it's, it's an odd game. I think the combat's the only part of this game I do enjoy. <laughs> okay, so we, we beat half half that fight, which is good. Now let's go finish off the guys in the room. Tell to Temple of Elemental Evil is a much better game, Evil. Yeah, definitely. Hey, thank you for the follow. Yes, that would have worked. Oh god. I don't know if it's like spawning random enemies in the street. Or what. The amount of spellcasters these lizard people have is just outrageous. Ouch. Switch to our plus three blade. And miss. Thanks. Do I even try to put them to sleep? There's no way this is gonna work, but we'll try. I got one of them. It's better than nothing. I have I have a mod installed to speed things up. <laughs> There's a speed mod for this game. Because yeah, by def by default the combat goes this fast. And it's very slow. Oh god, it feels like it's in slow motion. 
<laughs> oh god. Yeah, this this is this is how the game plays out of the box. Let's let's speed it back up again. <laughs> You bum rush these guys. Sneak attack. YouTube at 1.5 speed. Nice. I can't deal with the chipmunk, chipmunk talking when I do that. <laughs> Everybody just joined in and we got all these all these new viewers. The the party is we got ourselves a half orc fighter who's level four. We got ourselves a half lane thief who's also level four. A dwarven cleric. A elven sorcerer. And that's these four characters are the characters I created, and then uh, this guy we've rescued in the dungeon and he joined our party and he is another sorcerer. But he's only level three. He's almost level four, though. He's getting there. I just I had to apply an additional fix. Once once I got the game working, I didn't I didn't think to put DG Voodoo Two in there, but I tried putting DG Voodoo Two in after doing everything else I had to do to get this game working, and that fixed the frame rate problem because DG Voodoo Two is magic. <clears throat> Yeah, this game is, is a real pain in the ass to run on Windows 10. Yeah, not magic, voodoo, you're right. Still, if, if you're into running retro Windows games, uh, you need you need to familiar yourself, familiarize yourself with DG Voodoo 2. It's the best goddamn tool. Okay. sounds when he hits things. No traps. What? What's not even a... Not even a chest. God damn it. So why was the door to this room trapped? There's nothing in here. Yeah, we have to break everything. So, as you see, see this icon with the finger with the, the box under it on the mouse? That's the same icon used for both break object and loot object. And sometimes things will have items, sometimes they just break. So you have to smash everything because you can't actually tell the difference between something that's just a breakable environmental object and something that's a lootable container. It's quite annoying. the cliff for this. You speak Wisho Branet, the echoing word the elf ghost Elena taught you. It unseals the glyph of Enigma, opening the way to the turgid life spring in his guardian. See not our Duncan. simply enjoys destroying the furniture. Thank you so much for the bits, man. That's pretty kind. And yes, I do. I do like breaking everything. I would be doing it either, either way, I guess, but <laughs> I have an excuse for why I do it this time. 
the most honest quote for the back of this game's box. Suddenly you recall the words she said at the time. Friends will aid you if you know where to look. Are there friendly people in here? Oh? Anybody? The wall once had painting on it. You see faint outlines of what might have been a ceremonial scene. Your rogue soon skillfully traces out the details. The commemorative painting is in two parts. The lower scene shows elves gathered around a wondrous fountain, casting spells on it while great golems stand guard. In the upper scene, elves, dwarves, gnomes, humans, and other peoples frolic in the sustaining waters of four public wells. You recognize the place. Turgil Square, up in the main halls. Yes, right. There's a... Uh... All these fountains upstairs, but they're all like corrupted. We have to find a way to fix them. Smash. Music just changed. Spring Guardian? 8 die 10. 19 armor class. Well this is okay, so yeah, apparently this is what the ghost was saying. If we if we solve this, it should fix the, the fountains upstairs. But he looks like he's just jamming out. What does it look like at normal speed? He still looks like he's slow jamming. <laughs> Immune! Immune to magic missile. Okay. That's pretty rare. Bless everybody up here. Okay. <laughs> wow. My fucking face. Jesus Christ. Did I stabilize him? Oh, I did. Okay, good. I wish I had some spells that I could hit it with. Daze him. Or not. Oops, that don't... Does Mel's acid air work? Immune. He's just immune to everything. See Hamish. We hit him. That's good. You should probably switch to this and run up and smack him. Oh, good fucking god. What the hell? Wow. 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 We might have to come back here when we've leveled up more. Friends will aid you if you know where to look. Is that supposed to be like a hint that we're supposed to find some friends to help us kill this thing? Thank you. 
Jesus fucking Christ. I'm thinking we might need to find some of these friends that she's talking about. Some friends would help if you know where to look. But I don't know where to look. <laughs> Unless she means those people upstairs. surface. <clears throat> Hopefully they're hiding in these uh, two by fours on the floor here. <clears throat> and ancient zombies. Okay.
all these bookshelves and nothing we can actually interact with. we can't get into because of the water So useful sleep was on the first floor. <laughs> Can we go back to that, please? Our poor cleric, he's like buried under this mountain of orcs. <clears throat> there he is. Cleave. Mm. Oh, 
our recruited sorcerer leveled up. That's good. Choose one second level spell. Well, we took Melf with the one character, so let's give this guy... Web? I wonder if I could web the Lifespring Guardian, and then let's just kill him with bows. <clears throat> Traps... Oh! Yeah, we were able to damage him with, with just arrows and stuff. But he was immune to every single spell I cast at him, I'm assuming... He has super high spell resistance, and we just resist the web anyway. <clears throat> this one arrows. How much smaller these dungeon floors would be if they didn't have somebody just empty rooms of nothing. And these cyclopean dungeon floors that are just absolutely beyond the pale. <clears throat> but there's so much of it is just nothing. The well is dry, but you see signs that someone has rested here fairly recently. Your rogue finds a note that was wadded up and hidden under a rock. Some tall emmerich. We killed the creatures layered here, a dark naga and many minions. But the rooms around here should be safe for a while. No sign yet of the room we seek. We'll go up up the stairs far north of here. Follow us as soon as you can, Athen. Hmm, maybe that's maybe that's the friends we seek. <clears throat> Thank you for the follow. Is there stairs? after I fixed my, my label, but yeah, these stairs go all the way up to the top floor of the dungeon. Which is an area we haven't been yet. <clears throat> so maybe, maybe we'll find some help there. But first, we gotta finish looking around here. Painted on this door is almost too faint to be made out. A masked dwarf with fiery eyes. This could only be Gorm Golthin, the dwarven god of guardians, watchfulness, and justice. <clears throat> hey Gorm, hopefully you don't mind if I smash up all your furniture.
Friends are coming to join me, okay. Oh! That's far fucking beat up pretty good there. Lots of brown dungeons. Please kill this guy. Thanks.
Skeleton Lords. Okay. Okie dokie. Armor class, armor class 25. No wonder we can't hit him. Good God. Here we go. Just keep using this door as a choke point here. Oh, Mr. Shadow wants to play. Okay. Nice. Fighter's turn. You find a heavy club with words spun of silver embedded in its haft. Root split stone, leaf drink mist, twig grow into mountain fist. Oh, look at the stars of that thing. Petrified ogre's hand, mountain fist. Two die six plus two to hit. It's two damage versus constructs plus five, strength plus two. That might be good against fucking the Guardian. <laughs> I help if I picked it up though. No. 
hidden doors. <clears throat> this and why don't I have it labeled? <laughs> well this was... I think this was the staircase into a room all by itself that you couldn't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. Self-contained room. Okay. There's a barrier there. But it looks like he can go through this way. This is what's so annoying about the map design in this dungeon, is they constantly, like, block you. But then there's other paths that are just over there, so it's just like... We're just gonna make the player walk over here. Why? We don't know, but we're gonna do it anyway. Hello? Zombies and Orogs. So we've we've seen monsters fight each other before. The undead and the Orogs, I'm assuming, are not friends, but Orders, orders. Kill them all. Yep, they're fighting. Very good. Okay. Let's focus on killing the Orog spellcasters while they fuck with each other here. Healer, Hunter... Yeah, get him. himself, you dick. <laughs> Healing yourself? These spells do you have memorized anyway? So with whole person, I should still be able to hit him without breaking it. Yep. 
Rip zombies. Our turn. Chill out. Where's this guy going? <laughs> oh, double kill. And XP now because he gets XP for like disarming traps and stuff. Oh, his strength. Oh, right. We're strength. We got strength drained by those shadows. We gotta rest. Uh, but what did you get? Any new feats? Slash skills? Can he dodge? Is that new? of serious healing. Is this a safe room? Let's rest. It's definitely not as good as the old ones, Chillo. So yeah, for everybody new who's wondering what, what I'm doing here, every time you rest you get back one stat point that you've had drained. So we gotta rest like ten times. Get back all the strength we lost to those shadows. Constitution strength amulet, you definitely aren't wearing that. You got that thing. You have plus two strength. Which you're not getting from any other source. You got nothing. There you go. The winner is you. Oh. 
has too much hit points to go to sleep. I'm sad. Also, ow! Get in there. The fuck? What the hell was that, man? Oh crap. Oh, the cleric's gonna die. Calumny! Calumny Rogue! More specifically, you're killing yourself. Get out of the line of sight of the, the archer. Run, run. Orog archers are kind of scary, man. They hit pretty hard. Easy rest in this game. This this little icon here, if it's green, you can rest without getting attacked. If it's yellow, there's a chance you get attacked. And red means you can't rest. And every time you fight enemies in a room and kill it, almost always it'll turn into a green green room afterwards. And there's no food or, or any kind of supplies, so you can just rest whenever you feel like it. means you get to go ham with your spells every single fight. Thank <laughs> you. 
Why is this area red? That looks like it keeps going and going here, so again, we'll keep going this way and try to get this dead end map down. Okay, yeah, so this... These staircases were, like, standalone. You come down and you're just in this one room and you got a key out of that barrel. Now, the writing here has been worn smooth with the passing centuries. But by running a trained hand over the stone, your rogue manages to coax the message forth by touch. The inscription reads, This is the well of the earthborn wind, a gift given unto the dwarven folk of Mithranor by Shondakul, the wind rider, the god of the helping hand. May the blessing breezes it brings up from the untrammeled depths ever refresh the peaceful peoples of the city of Song. Untrammeled is a word you don't encounter very often. See that the well is dark and silent, and not a breath of air comes up from it into the channels overhead. Place a large red gemstone, which we don't have. <laughs> I like how you can tell what item you need because it, tell, it tells you here, <laughs> even if you don't have it. Okay. This went well. Secret doors. Okay. Fighters. That's that's fun. half my party. Please don't interrupt me.
door. Hmm. Oh, this is the, uh, whatever the hell it's called. This is like a fast travel room. The room is nearly identical to the one you've seen before. It too is bitterly cold. When the ice shatters, you free the Ronglin. You feel the ancient magic devices coming back to life throughout the dungeons. Under the ice, you find a strange item. A knife sculpted from silver of blue ice, chill and electric to the touch. Glistening ice shard. Three is blood. Plus two. Cast cone of cold. Plus four armor class. Interesting. Oh, hi, guys. and then the rest are just normal. That was like 66 damage. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Okay, you get get out of the rogue's way. Thank you, game. Thank you for that. viewpoint. I'm right fucking next to him. Uh, <laughs> hey, Astral. Thank you for the 44 months. Four months is a long time since that MM6 stream. That was a long time ago. Thank you so much, dude. That's been a long time to be subscribed. Appreciate it, man. Oh. 
No, you jackass. stabilized him. Why is he not healing? Clearly breathing. Know where you are. Even after hundreds of years, the powerful aura of magics is unmistakable. You've entered the Speculum, with Drenor's celebrated Hall of Wizards, banded ever since the city fell. Hall of Wizards. Okay. So that's where the blue blue one goes. First floor, right? Yeah, okay, so yellow's to the main floor. Also stone, that's upstairs from the main floor. And this is presumably the Hall of Light, right? Okay, well we we have a we have a way to fast travel now, that's good. At least within this this one. the doors carved a gem in a mountain. The famous sigil of the dwarf god Dumathoin, the keeper of secrets. You talk and talk, but tell us nothing of value! What? <laughs> oh! Multiple scarred ones? Oh no, that's a soldier. Cold mage. Oh, this is gonna suck. We are so far from being able to cast Fireball. <laughs> 
so, so far away. All right, look here, Novel, the merchant. I'll show you where the Dwergar buried the dragon's diamonds. Now, you fools, now, now. So that's that's the merchant from surface. I don't know what the fuck he's doing down here. Get in the wizard's face so he can't cast spells. So these guys are all just fighter types, right? No healers or anything. Twenty-five. What the fuck, man? <sighs> Shit. Really need a way to he get a heal on him without him dying. This is a problem. Save after I buffed? Just took a second for the particle effects to load in. All right! Look here, blast you all. I'll show you where the Dwergar buried the dragon's diamonds. Now, you fools! Now! Now! like constant saving throws. Hey, it's still nice.
Oh, that was a good hit. Yeah. <laughs> Just like, yeah, fuck your web. It's worth a shot, though. Dang it. Turn is it? What? It's like hidden behind everybody. Ow. Uh. Oh. What was my failed? Get out of here. Chick shit. Thoen, you'll need it to burst this box open. What's the key of Doomathon? By Halbrun's beard, you're witless. Key, it's a key. You use it to open locked doors and such as this one. <laughs> hey, I'm bored. Where's the key? One of those scarred mages took it. He left here with a surly squad of Orog. They're rough, but you could get that key off of them if you wanted to. <laughs> They were on their way to the Room of Words. That's in the House of Gems. Up, up, up from here. This cliff was not laid by elves, but by someone more cruel. This place has sealed the door within the last few days. Okay. Sixty-four thousand gold. Nothing to spend it on. Maybe Noddle will update his inventory when we rescue him.
failed to pick the lock. Even with a roll of 19. Alright, can somebody with... There's no smash option? associated with it, it'll tell you. This lock would be too complex for even the most skilled lockpick. Okay. Hmm. I don't know, Dimith Owen's card overhead. There's a room from here, though. Okay. I love how open chests, you have to click on them twice to check them. This one is... Plus three armor class, plus one dexterity. That's... Pretty fucking good ring. <laughs> so you're getting dexterity from that already. He gets it. <laughs> he gets no armor class from it? Oh no, he's getting two. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. The party must move closer. You must gather your party before you open this box. Second floor. The stairs going up. Where? Up to the halls of stone. So these stairs went up two floors. Okay. Twelve hours to beat the first floor <laughs> with with the double speed mod. said the guys with the keys went up, up, up. Did he mean like up, up, upstairs? <laughs>
Yeah, I never finished this because the, the dungeons were just too, too tedious. Luckily, I never had a save, save corruption problem, but we'll see how this goes. I have a million saves, at least. Moving nice and fast. Your brother uninstalled Icewind Dale 2 only once? What dickhead? speed is this, which in combat particularly is just real painful. Yeah, these, these wounds are fresh for us, Astro Vortex. <laughs> you might be over it, but it's it's a brand new fence. You motherfucker. Healers. Long way. Wishful thinking, but let's give it a try. Analysis just wear off. Nice. Okay. Oh, shit. That's not good. Thank you. 
este. Critical hit. Zombos. refreshing. <laughs> Pelt that didn't require me to buff to the nines and use all my spells to win. Saw progress on the second floor here. Assuming that it doesn't keep going like, way over there somehow. Yeah, 
Yeah, this this looks bad. <laughs> Torch lined room with a giant sarcophagus in it, yeah. The inscription reads Faldus, who never fell in battle. Nothing happens. Secret door here. This is the diary of Faldus, a warrior of old Mithranor. Here in my last days, all honor me for my courage. I bury my secret here with me. Courage had I none. What I had was a stout shield and the wit to have it enchanted. Many who find it show more courage than I did. Majestic Platinum Shield, Faldus' Defender, plus three armor class, plus three initiative. Ooh. Ooh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, is that better or worse than we have? Sort of better, I guess you get the saving throw bonus off of it. Shield, bro. Appreciate it. Well, this is that mystery teleporter. man.
Okay. That was whoa, what do you what I can heal multiple people? Through modern wounds? That can't be right. Gotta be a bug. <laughs> you can just do it an infinite amount of times. Uh, what? That's that's easily abusable. It was even the, the targeting thing was still up even after I rested. <laughs> the fuck. Closer. The inscription reads Julubin Genshishir, Wizard of Air, is at rest here. He was the last keeper of Shondakul's gift, the Earthborn Wind. Well, maybe the red gem we need will be in here. Okay. Bingo. When you grasp the ruby, a vision flashes into your head. A man's hand releasing the ruby. A man's face watching it fall into a bottomless well. Will do, spooky ghost man. Will do. Oh. 
just a bunch of zombies. Where is it? There's a freaking gas all the way up there. Well, there's more than one. Oh, good. Great. You can scroll the camera further in combat. I guess if there's enemies there, it'll let you scroll to them. Okay. This game is such a weird camera. targeting thing anymore. That would have been hilarious. Just cure them, cure them to death. Don't paralyze me. Looks like it was a one-time bug. No infinite healing for us. the well with uh, the wind thing it's over here somewhere yeah there it is let's let's go do that before we go any further yeah it, it likes to reset that stuff randomly it's pretty fucking annoying an exit to the surface? Looks like it. 
Right, another shortcut. Go sell our stuff while we're up. Actually, I'm curious if Noddle is here, since we just found Noddle in a jail cell. Is Noddle gone from his shop over here? Oh, he's actually gone. We can loot it. Oh no, we can cl <laughs> close his window. Okay. All right. Well, at least at least they accounted for that. I was half expecting him to still be be there. <laughs> Say hi to these guys, see if they have any new quest stuff for us here. Hey folks. Friends, we are worried. Not all seems to be missing. Yeah, we, we know that. <laughs> I'll tell you something I noticed as we made our way through the dungeons, maybe it will be useful to you. The old areas were haunted with undead creatures and shunned by living things. If you see obelisks or spires, or worse yet, coffins, beware. That is an old area where ghouls, shadows, and wraiths might be found. Half of the stories they told us turned into quests, though, so we do have to actually, like, listen to them. It's a funny article at The Onion about fake video game quotes, and they had one that was, We're excited to re-release an all-new Watch Dogs. Oh wait, it's Far Cry, whatever, it's all the same to me. Yeah? That's that's Ubisoft. Uh, we do not know any more tales about the deep halls. Okay, upper halls. That is all the tales I know. Main halls. Okay, we have all their all their tales. You played Far Cry Six. It looks exactly the same as the other ones. Floor is the famous sigil of the god Clangetid Silverbeard, the dwarven father of battle. Someone has flanked it with crude arrangements of sharpened sticks. Does that mean we can just go past it? Okay. You notice furrows in the dirt here as though some huge serpentine creatures flood the room ahead. Over the furrows you see boot marks and catch the unmistakable stench of orcs. It's got a lot of, like, flavor text. Best Far Cry. First one... It's probably the best one, yeah. Maybe, maybe Blood Dragon was kind of fun. Just for how ridiculous it was. But I've only played... 1, 2, 3... Blood Dragon and a teeny bit of 4. I got Far Cry 4 for free with my graphics card and played it for like half an hour. I was like, this seems exactly the same as the game I already played, so... Yay for saving throws. Orc. Orc leader. Okay, this should be pretty easy. Last words, I know. Sleep. Oh, get fucked. Two of them. Far Cry Primal. I always forget that that game even exists. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Fuck. Remember when I was like, famous last words? Witch Doctor. Oh. 
More? Oh my god, there's like a million orcs in here. This is bad. Can I bless? Just hold person or sleep me, you ass. Yeah, the, the respawns in Far Cry 2 are a mess. Weapon durability in Far Cry 2 was so completely pointless, though, because you could just put weapons into a safe house, and then you'd have perfectly pristine versions of any weapon you stored in a safe house in every safe house. And you had to go to the safe houses to save, so every time you go to save, you just pick up a shiny new version of your gun, and you'll never encounter a weapon jam in the entire game. It was such a pointless system, they put, like, absolutely zero thought into it. It could have been interesting, where you're like picking up scavenging weapons from dead people and they're like jamming on you. But that never happens because you have freaking shiny, shiny new weapons everywhere you go. Hey Ash, how's it going? Yeah, I, I bought this back in the day, but I never did finish it. I'm trying to rectify that. Sleep. God, I would kill for fireball. There's... Jesus, there's five there. Five more there. This is a mess. Maybe we should, like, fall back to the door. And come to us. But they all have bows, they'll just stand here and shoot me. Does this guy sleep? Wake him up, it just instantly paralyzes him. Thanks. We tried to run away. Okay. Sneak attack. That was good. 
Yes, get out of my face, you stupid spellcaster. Sick of you. Well, this guy's out of spells, he's coming at us. Oh god, not not there. Uh just defend yourself. I need a better viewpoint? Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, everybody left is asleep. This is good. further away. Fine. Don't wake them up with magic missile. Back up. <laughs> How do you miss someone who's asleep? He's asleep! Oh, that's fucking impressive in your in its incompetence. Thank you. Okay, that was just kind of ridiculous. Make sure it's a safe room. Let's save and her rest and save. Okay. Okay. So what was this army of orcs guarding? Small shield. Emerald of Clover. Theodore's token of luck. Cast troop scene, level 20, 10 charges. Plus one armor class, saving throws, initiative. Six spell resistance, only rogues can wear it. I think the rogues got a better Your necklace than that already, right? Yeah, even though it's minus two constitution. Small dwarven gilded steel reinforced bow, plus three short bow. Sick. Sick. Finally got a new bow for the rogue. Let me just drop this one. <clears throat> That was a good find. Since every bow we found so far has been a long bow.
More money. Will we ever get something to spend it on? That is the question. Looking pretty... Pretty close to being done this floor. This one's going way faster than the last floor. Okay, so we were on our way over here. We got sidetracked by this public army here. This is the spot. Okay. Hey, Saska. Place large red gemstone. Behold! The earthborn wind! Blessing winds begin to flow from deep underground up into the three channel openings overhead. Activated that. I don't know what that does, but since it's going through an opening in the ceiling, I'm guessing it does something in one of the upper floors. Okay, so that's that's sorted out. for a party to chillax. stuff over there and up there. and miss. That missed him. <laughs> Damn it. Oops. Site being blocked by this thing.
Pass out. Dusty Boots, Lenore's Sanctuary, plus four armor class versus Undead. Huh. It's not great. What are you wearing? Yeah, you got the armor class constitution boots. Okay. Nothing special there. Secret doors. type we've encountered in quite a while. Armor class 21, 7 die 10 plus 7. Alright. Is that like poison or something? Oh wow. Fuck. Minus 15, yeah he's, he's super dead. Monsters would be really bad. That would be that would be real not not cool. I don't think there are I don't even know if Rust Monsters exist anymore. Third edition D and D. Be surprised if they got rid of them. Yeah, I can't say I've ever seen an air can. yourself. If I try to walk, I'm gonna die horribly. And... Ridiculous. 
there any way we could trigger this fight in a way where we're not completely fucking surrounded? That would be nice. If I run for this doorway here. Here they come. Turn around. Okay. 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 Now now we got the door to work with here. Just need to get the cleric in position. out there. He seems to be just stuck there. Can I just arrow him to death? Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> Shit. At least didn't go for the spellcasters. Whose turn is it? Cleric? Oh, critical hit. Get fucked. That was a good turn. Okay. <laughs> Fight's a little easier when you're not completely surrounded. Just a touch. This room's still red, though. Let's get out of this room. So, pick it up. There we go. Ancient note. It reads, Hybin, or Higbin, sorry. Higbin, the ceremony ended too soon. The man's name is Faldus. Wait a fortnight, then take what he no longer needs. And do not fail to give me my share. Okay. Is Faldus the guy with the shield? Yeah, Faldus is defender. Faldus is the guy who had the, the magic shield in his coffin. Yeah. Heavy half fingered gloves, gauntlets of ogre power. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
yes. What are you wearing? Reflex saving throws plus four casts haste. So he actually doesn't get any strength because he's already getting strength from, from his ring here, so. So we'll stick with those. Oh, you. I don't have any gloves on, so oh, you could have them. But he doesn't get any strength either. Everybody's already got stuff giving him strength. He's got this amulet. Oops. Give me the give me the, give me the gloves. No. Rogue. I don't think you'll get any strength from them either, because you're getting strength. So what do you have? Dexterity gloves, which I don't think actually do anything for you. Yeah. Yeah, neither neither of them does anything. Wow. I appreciate they tried to make like a live paper doll here, but it's a little janky. Oops. Yes, we'd pref I mean, if I give you some strength, at least you can carry more stuff. <laughs> All right, now everybody's got shiny red gloves on. We all match. Accessorizing in the dungeon. These are just victims of those Eric Cat things or whatever they're called. <clears throat> Alright, so that's that. get broken? It totally did. confused about what they're trying to do. Don't paralyze. 
Recognize me. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's gonna try and flank us. up on the flank plan. Started this floor. Stuff over here we never looked at though. Oh, oh, that's not good. No, it's, it's a mod to speed things up on Puzzle. The game is way too slow otherwise. Damn ghost already! Get out of here! Stone head, Eidolon. That's the third one of these we found. Handful of rough cut gems. Gemstones and jewels, low quality and value. Okay. Let's put these 
these three Eidolons. I have no idea what they're for, but I'm assuming we're going to need them for something. Shield inscribed with sigils. Runic shield, armor class 2, lesser chance of spell failure. Can be used by sorcerers, plus 2 armor class. Arcane spell failure, 5% chance. That's pretty slick. Of course, knowing my luck, that 5% is going to be like 95%. <laughs> <clears throat> All the way over there? What? This is fucking the ghoul of Inspector Gadget? <laughs> oh, what's that? Bullcrap. Seems an elf named Garrus was hurriedly buried here. The remains inside his coffin have been moved around a bit. Identify the remains. From the remains you discern that Garrus was an elf hero of House Merdrim. He still clutches a scarf embroidered with the name Elena of House Turgil. He was buried in a hurry, probably in the last days before Mithranor's fall. Since then, someone has opened up the coffin and shifted some of his bones. Uh, compose and remains. Carefully bring the skeleton back into a restful and dignified pose. You are worthy. I will help you bring rest to the life spring guardian. Look for me at the fire. 
mountain of stone. I hope you're a badass, because that life spring guardian is scary as fuck, dude. <laughs> but I'll take any all the help I can get. That thing whooped my ass so bad. Okay, we got some help for the the guardian. Hopefully he like makes it not insane somehow. That would be good. In fact, if he just wants to just kill it for me, that would that would be nice. <laughs> I'll I'll let him have the glory of that one. Where was the life spring guardian? It's like up here, right? No. Here? No. Somewhere way the hell far away from where we are. Did I really make two flags for the same thing? There he is. All the way up here. People who weren't here earlier, he's he's this golem guarding, guarding this spring of life, and he's absurdly powerful. He, <laughs> he just picked one of my characters and would kill them in one hit. And just went through the party one at a time, like a mulch. Made multiple attempts to kill him. Barely, barely made a dent. But a ghost told us that we should look for help, so... If we found at least some help. Yeah, like, I, I suspect now that we have help, it, the fight will be maybe normal. Hopefully. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Ooh. Fighter leveled up. Sick. Oh, five. Only him, though. I wonder why he's getting more XP. I get why the rogue is, but... Gap's yeah, just getting bigger and bigger with the rogue, too. <laughs> he still needs 209. Of course, this guy's way behind. <clears throat> so what did we get? Proved critical, I think. <laughs> More crits. The real question is, do we have two melee attacks per turn yet? That'll be a game changer with him. It's, 
it's a mod. Mod to speed it up, because it is way too slow. This is normal speed. <laughs> We're walking around, it's okay, but combat. Combat in normal speed takes eons. Yeah, this game had a lot of technical problems. We're all patched up though, so hopefully we'll be able to skip the worst of it. Serious wounds, but Big improvement. We can go faster, dude. We can go all the way up to this like mega turbo mode. <laughs> Speed. They've gone plaid. I haven't seen space balls in years. I should watch that again. I still gotta rewatch Dune and the Dune mini mini series in preparation for the new movie. Mel Brooks is great. Yeah.
cleric level. You should get third level spells now, right? Still curse, blindness, cure, serious. Spell. Serious. Ooh, prayer. Prayer's good. Remove curse. Is there even curses? There's no cursed equipment in this game. Everything comes pre-identified. Searing light. We've seen holy power like a ray of the sun. The cleric projects a blast of light from his open palm. The cleric must make a ranged touch attack to strike his target. The creature struck by this ray of light suffers 1 to 8 damage per 2 caster levels. Undead suffer 1 to 6 per caster level. And undead particularly vulnerable to sunlight, such as vampires, suffer 1 to 8 per caster level. Constructs in an animate only suffer 1 to 6 per 2. Okay. That's a magic. Hey, I'm Seagull. How you doing, man? Turning, yes. A great feat to take for a character with one charisma. His combat casting. Yay! Yay! Okay, good. Okay. So that at least. First light shift over his. We're making pretty good progress here. We're on the, the second floor. Explored most of it. At least it's not taking 12 hours like the first floor did. Also fixed the, the frame rate problem so it's running smoother. <clears throat> yeah, we're only 17 hours into this game and we've made it to the second floor. Yeah! This sturdy door can only be unlocked from the other side. We need to go try and take out the life spring guardian again. Let's see if this our ghostly helper will make a difference. Here's open. How do we even get over there? So that's up there. Can we just go like straight up? Is this I think this is this is the area if you touch the teleporter upstairs it sends you right here and it's like a self-enclosed region with those stairs to get back up that's what that area is Thank you. 
Okay, let's rest. Do some buffing in here. Bless. Prayer. There's our ghostly friend. Now we bring peace to this relic of the past. You gonna is he just gonna help with the fight? Maybe we should back off and let him fight it. Completely immune to every spell I threw at him before. Yeah. Which sucks. Ow! Fuck it, doodle do. He still hits like a goddamn Mack truck. Some of these magic arrows we got here. If not now, then when? Step back. Yeah, go fight the ghost. Go fight the ghost. Maybe he'll, uh... Oh, he's like... Almost dead. Just keep swinging at the ghost and not me, please. Yes! Yes, attack the ghost! Yes. Ugh. As Garrus's ghost fades away, you hear healing energy flow again from the life spring. Up into the wells of Turguild Square. Sorcerer leveled up. <laughs> Choose the first level spell. Uh, burning hands, I guess? Maybe we'll fight some trolls? Oh, and a second level spell. Um. Blind. <clears throat> Alright, so this this is supposed to reactivate all the healing fountains, or there's like permanent stat fountains up on the floor above us. Which we should be able to use now. Okay. So... That is basically it for this this floor outside of rescuing Noddle, but we can't do that until we get the key of Doomathoin, which I think is upstairs. Judging by he, he said the people with the key went up, up, up. So I'm assuming that meant like floor wise and not north. Okay, so how do we get back upstairs? Uh, oops. Da. So that's up to the fourth floor. Surface. It's a glyph. Yeah, we never found this vile ironbound tome either. To burn. Glyph. Stairs up.
<clears throat> you ascend about 85 steps and return to the main hall. Thank you for letting me know how many stairs we went up. <laughs> All right, so we, we got we got the second floor basically down in like five hours, roughly. That's, that's a hell of a lot more reasonable than 12. Maybe this game won't be 10,000 hours long. It'll only be like a thousand. <laughs> so where were these fountains? I, I'm an idiot and didn't mark them down. They were in Turgid, Turgild Square, which I think was like... Somewhere around here. Well, I think they were here. You sure? Speed mode makes a huge difference. It still could use a little more variety. Like having four, four, four or potentially five dungeon floors all with the exact same tile set when it takes this long to get through a dungeon floor is a bit... a bit much. Also, a new combat song would be nice. <laughs> While I'm asking for things that are never gonna happen. More than one combat theme in a game where you spend the majority of your time in combat. Probably be a good idea. Follow the purple brick road. Follow the purple brick road. Follow, 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 follow the purple brick road. Sips, Banks. You scoop up the precious life spring water and drink it. In moments you feel more wise, more in tune with the ways of the gods. 24 wisdom now. Can everybody drink from it? No, okay. <laughs> Only one person can get the, the step, step off. Yeah, okay, thank you. <clears throat> Endurance. Uh, kind of tempted to give that to the cleric because we we use him as like a fighter. He could use more hit points. Yeah, constitution bonus. All right. Well of rest. just kind of backed like we rested at it because that would be kind of pointless. You touch the least one to your lips and it washes away the pain of war. Yeah, it's okay. It's just like a healing fountain. It's not very exciting. Well of beauty. Here, Duck Live. Some charisma. You put your face to the sparkling life spring water and take big swallows. Almost instantly you feel more poised, more commanding. <laughs> 25 charisma. I remember in 2nd edition D&D, &D, 25 was as high as the table went for stats and that was like what deities had. <laughs> and in 3rd edition they're just like, fuck it! <laughs> Everybody's stats are ridiculous now. Have fun. <clears throat> All right, there we go. Some, some stat ups. Now we'll go back to the stairs, and then we'll take the stairs up and go to the Hall of Stone. This is not the right way.
We need to go this way, I think. And health amias. Or yakety sacks, yakety sacks works. Dungeon! Ah! There's all these stupid barricades in the way. There's beholder figures to paint? That's sick. I have absolutely no artistic talent whatsoever, so. <laughs> no painting for me. for like a teleport to mouse cursor cheat. Oh yeah, that room. This is not the right way. Can I go here? Over there again. <laughs> Where we came from. Can I go? Oh, there's a barricade there. How do you get in? Is it here? Do I go through these rooms? Maybe this works. Blocked off. This is infuriating. There's, for some reason, there's two retro categories. Something in Twitch fucked up. There's not supposed to be two of them. But when you when you like click on the, the category, it takes you to the same place. Like they both go to the same location. So I don't know. I don't know what Twitch did. From what it looks like, it looks like they tried to make like an actual proper category out of retro. And then, but there's a like the, the retro category that we've been streaming in all this time is not actually a category. It's it's a game. It's a PS2 game called Retro. But the community like hijacked it to stream retro games, and then Twitch ended up allowing it. But now it looks like they tried to make like an actual proper category and the PS2 game is still there and it's got two things with the same name and Twitch is just like oh god what do I do so that's what it looks like what happened but it's just a guess on my part hey 
Hey, Tom. Thanks for the raid, by the way. Uh, it's, it's all right. The, the, the dungeon's levels are, like, way, way too big, but I'll be on that. It's okay. Yeah, they did, they did patch it. The, the first patch they released for this game fixed the, the installer thing. Is this gonna be barricaded off too? This seriously feels like there's just like no way out. This is ridiculous. How did I get up here? Yeah, it's barricaded. How did I get here? This happened last time when we were actually properly doing this floor. How did... How do you get over there? No, no flame pillar. Not yet, anyway. Spell. Um, bless. There you isn't the way the wolf. I don't know, I guess we can always go to the uh, travel room and use that instead. Whoops. Ugh. Shortcut outside. side of the barricade again. Oh my god. Who designed this map? Oh. What a jackass. Why are these barricades everywhere? Oh, this is infuriating. Do we have any keys? Whatever that puzzling lock is, I have no idea how to open it. Wait, oh yeah, I forgot to try to use this against the construct. Oh well. Okay. Well, I'm gonna find you, Alanary, and I'm gonna kick you in the bum. Cause sick my windigo on you. <clears throat> okay, 
where does this put us? Okay, this is... Maybe where we need to be. God, there's a fucking wall there. Well, then how do you... How the... do you get here? What in the world? I am... I am so lost. This doesn't make any sense. Where's the ring room? R Ronglin room. Okay, if we can get to there, we can use it to fast travel. Yeah, you show that rock who's boss. We made it. Okay. Uh, purple. No. Green. Here we go. Okay. We made it. Safe. Jesus. That first floor is like the worst laid out dungeon floor I can think of. Feels like a Daggerfall map or something. Complete nonsense. This is, uh, deep halls. Okay. Okay. So these, these stairs go down two floors. Down two. So. 
Skeleton lords. Ancient zombies. Nothing too scary. Whoops. Ah. Oh. Let's unequip those plus two arrows. We don't want to waste those anymore. Get rid of the silly run meter. That's the one, the one change I'd make to Diablo 2 is get rid of the stamina meter and the, the run mechanic. I don't know why they added that. You can only move normal speed some of the time. Yay. straight reskin. Which kind of convinced me to skip it. Because I already have Diablo 2. <laughs> and I've played so much Diablo 2 I don't really actually have any desire to play anymore. I spent like years playing that game. Kind of over it. to kill this thing? Oh, for crying out loud. Hit him! Jesus. Thank you. Yeesh. Serious wounds. Oops. That. Sorcerer's Scroll of Shield. I'm not going to take that. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a Skinner box. All those Diablo style games are. Let's go up to the top. Oh yeah, the jungles with the... Did I not make a note there? Or did I... Weird. Down to...
It reads, Torothel. Lizard folk have been seen in the area around Nightmare around the Nightmare Gate. You best take the weapon I stuck in the bookcase just upstairs. Case right up there. Scaly knife, marsh bane dagger, plus two versus reptiles, plus two to hit triple damage. Interesting. Okay. Anti lizard man dagger. in your grip on life! Oh, man, is this guy gonna be a, an ally? We have a friend. We must help our friend. He's level five fighter. That's good. Oh, that guy went down way easy. Okay. when least looked for I see well met friends well met Emmerich if you are from Flan as your garb bespeaks then well met indeed why are we a prisoner ask rather why I am not slain these mages and their dark ilk slew all my band save myself and our leader Athan they spared the best and least of us it seems for what purpose I know not without your aid the gods know what fate would have befallen me if your cause is just, my blade is at your service. What's your quest? Uh, the great mage Elminster handpicked Athen and his band to venture here. He bid us uncover what evil taint, what evil taint the city's guardian, what evil taints, Jesus, I can't read today, what evil taints the city's guardian spell, the ancient Mythal. Since Smith Drenor's fall, the spell has faded some, but of late, a dark corruption has possessed, possessed it and twisted even its last remaining boons to curses. Elminster sent us here to discover the cause of the corruption. That we did, but at great cost. My companions are dead, and the priceless gauntlets of Moander are stolen by the murderers. Uh, what's corrupting the Mythal? Some new forces entered Mithranor, driven out the Laird and lesser evils, and taken possession of Castle Cormanthor. The corruption of the Mythal is their doing. They have twisted its power and used it to raise a pool of radiance, whose evil might spreads throughout Faerun. Uh, what can I do to further your quest? The mages took from me a ring of great power sealed unto a skeletal arm. They've taken it to the Room of Words in the hopes of unsealing the ring from its deadwire's hand. Athen believed that the ring, the Ring of Calling, holds the key to attaining the city heights where our quest lies. My companions are dead, my quest failed, unless it lives with you. Let me join with you against this evil and wet my blade in the blood of those who slew my friends. Sure. You'll not regret the company of my blade. Vengeance makes a fine sharpening stone. Injury leveled up. Nice. Uh, 
sleep. Well, he's never going to get to use it. We're already at the point where sleep's no good. Charm? Charm. And, uh... More Melf, I guess. Alright, let's have a look at this guy. You any good? Your stat's kind of shit. Okay, I guess. What are you equipped with? Fucking common dagger? No armor? Okay, what can we hook you up with here? A shield. They made... <laughs> they made the parties too big. Oh no, oh, okay, never mind, it's fine, it's fine, I'm dumb. Dumb. Like, you can't fit all six characters down here, but then you don't need to. You don't need to, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, we can give him this. some armor for this guy. <clears throat> oh, and we need to fix our formation. Here you stand over there. Such formation. There we go. Alright, everybody have a rest. traps. Oh, well, we needed armor, and there we go. Plus two chainmail. Here, have some healing potions. That is worse than we have. Alright. But, it's better than what this guy has, which is literally nothing. There we go. 21 armor class, much better. We have a full party now. That's good. It looks like a scribe seat, hastily abandoned. reads, Lady, I crave kind permission to s dispel your nightmare gate, as it has done its duty. The undead hordes were most effective at repulsing the orcs, but now they... And the message ends. Okay. So they summoned a bunch of undead to fight the orcs. And it reads, Lord, I quake to trouble you with so small a matter, but foul lizard folk have crept down into our midst and compete with our orogs for magical treasure. If I could have but one squad of... You're unable to pick the lock. 
multi. There we go. Fighter from getting through. No good. Can you get out of the way? These elven clerics have been recently killed, not by undead, but by some kind of sinister magic. Common shield. Sense undercurrents of old magic and see a blood red glow off to the south. I 
this guy's got 25 armor class. We're gonna be missing him a lot. Having two fighters with cleave is nice, though. Give or reuse an item. Place a vial filled with ancient fluid. Ancient stinking fluid. This fountain is inscribed with these words. Behold, fountain macabre. Drown me in the blood of Nagakind and receive the Nagus kiss. Carved Nagus head stares up at you from a bowl at the bottom of the fountain. Both the bowl and the fountain are completely dry. Alright. See, you can always tell what item you need because it actually tells you if you try to interact with it. Even though we don't actually have this thing. <clears throat> Fountain. Vial of stinking mega blood. Skeletons. Yes, we're up to three three magic missiles now. That's good.
pretty easy. <clears throat> Trap doors. So we should get the rogue to open them. I guess we could just switch the uh, party leader to the room. Except that changes the formation for some reason. gonna be at the front if he's the leader okay that's no good hey trash boy that's all right This game? Nice. You recognize the seal in front of the door, it is the powerful glyph of song. So we need we need to learn a glyph of water, venom, and song now. To get past these freaking things. Glyph of song. You notice peculiar locks on these chests. Your rogue identifies them as Urgosh locks, orcish devices of great cunning, said to be laced with the vile poison beaten out of a carrion crawler's brain. You can remove these locks, save expert orc thieves. Mm. It's not going to stop me from trying. <laughs> <laughs> This, this game is a real bitch to get working on Windows 10, just so you know. Quite the ordeal. He can't do it. Three unpickable guests. Time to end the stream here. I didn't realize it was so late. Holy cow. Let's see what's in this chest and then we'll call it a day here. Oh, this stupid jackass is. Asshole. You're too far away for the party leader to move, but it won't let. Oh my god. This is pro- it won't let me out of the room to get close to it. We go- oh, oh, oh. You stupid damn wizard. <laughs> there, okay. 
let's let's see what this chest is all about. No traps. Ah, shadows, and a master shadow. Oh boy. Oh wow. This cast darkness. I can't even see my character now. Somewhere in here. This is, uh, this is interesting. <laughs> uh, get out of there. <clears throat> Which one's the master shadow? There he is. This is not going well at all. What? Whose turn is it? Oh. Stop trading my stats! We'll have to do this fight uh, next time. <laughs> That's a lot of shadows. <clears throat> All right, thank you guys for coming by. Appreciate appreciate you all for coming out, and thanks again to Retrograde Tom and Retro Island Gaming both for giving me two massive raids. That was crazy. But thank you so much, everybody. Um, let's pass the love forward and give somebody a host. Uh, let's watch some Morrowind. Windmill's never ending Morrowind playthrough. Oh! Thank you for the follow. All right, guys, we'll be back tomorrow with some more of this. I will see you then. Take care. Have yourselves a wonderful day.